The first element of technique I want to discuss is ride cymbal. And it, it seems that a lot of players, when they come in off the marching field, you know, they're, they're so used to playing on those heads and using the sticks and all that stuff, that they, they tend to grip the stick real heavy and, and tight, and then they move up to the ride cymbal and it kind of reflects their snare drum grip. Well, I just want to offer up a, another uh, possibility, and that's what we call the fulcrum grip. And the best way to explain this to you is if you were going to shake my hand, you put your hand out and you put the stick right in there. And you create a fulcrum between the thumb and the first finger. And then these three fingers follow the stick, like that. So you get a nice thick sound, your stick has nice movement to it, there's a looseness to it, and you can create a nice, what I would call, full-bodied cymbal sound. Let me demonstrate. Okay, now if you're not using that grip and you're doing more of the, the, the marching snare drum grip or another grip, you can choke the cymbal sound and you can also um, develop some bad habits along the way. For example, the difference between the fulcrum grip and the palm down grip is one of the elbow. If you can take a look at my elbow, uh, one demands that the elbow be up here and the other one, the elbow and the shoulder are nice and relaxed. So I think if you examine this grip, you might find that you have more relaxation along the way and you're not going to get so tired. This way, you're going to get tired. You're also uh, maybe going to have a tendency to play down into the cymbal and pound the cymbal a little bit. This might create a lighter, uh, more free-flowing cymbal sound and that's I think really what you want to try to achieve.